my introduction. Um, hi, I'm Kaz. I'll be talking about cultural immersion in Thailand. My goal here is to inform the audience of the possibilities downtown and how people in Mitchell should spend more time downtown to immerse themselves in the culture here. And I chose this topic because I have a lot of friends that live in Michigan that always um, like have different arguments than me regarding who lives where and like which is better, so that would be interesting to talk about. Alright, so I'm gonna start with Good afternoon. Let me start off by sharing you my favorite toy from my childhood. This, as you all know, is a top. It's a simple toy designed to spin round and round which gave me joy for hours to come when I was a child. This right here is you. Let me explain later. Before I moved to this wonderful school, I lived in the suburban town of Herndon, Virginia. My neighborhood was a townhouse complex with houses of and fives. My neighbors were really friendly, and they were also really multicultural as well, surprisingly, in the States. Um, my neighbors' families came from India, Pakistan, Korea, China, uh, Mexico, Japan, and even the Philippines. Now, I also had a lot of friends living in that neighborhood, and all of their houses were within biking distance. Does this sound familiar? Downtown Bangkok is a magical place. It's a place where soy dogs wander the streets sketchy bars open up at night. It's a place where tuk-tuks and motorcycle taxis are a common sight as you walk down the crowded toy, all the while sipping Fanta from a small plastic bag. It's a place where dazzling skyscrapers tower over rickety shacks by the pond. It's a place where culture thrives. Now, Nichitani is a comfortable place to live. It's a place where owners can walk their dogs in peace and people sip their drinks by the park pool sign. It's a place where uniformed workers drive golf carts and occasional bikers bike by quiet streets. It's a place where rows of high-end houses flourish. It's heaven on earth. Now at first glance, heaven on earth sounds pretty good to me. But where the tuk-tuks, or the food stands, or even the bustling atmosphere, Living in Thailand is an important thing to have these things. It is a sad fact that Nishitani lacks the important aspects that make up Thai culture. I believe that cultural immersion is the key to being a global citizen. As students from one of the best international schools in Asia, we stand by the ISB mission statement. Part of the sp statement states that we learn to promote cross-cultural understanding, global awareness, and open-mindedness with particular emphasis on understanding and appreciating our host country. Now let's think about that for a second. So to become a global citizen, we have to appreciate and embrace the culture around us. Without living in Nisha and, or, sorry, without leaving the tightly knit community of Nisha Tani, this cannot be accomplished. I want my fellow students to see the opportunity presented in this wonderful country that is so rich in culture. There are tremendous amounts of things to see and experience in downtown Bangkok. With the environment and feel like no other, but once you're there, it's as if you're transported to another planet. People living in Nishina have a million reasons why living in Nishina is better than living downtown. First of all, Michiganians don't have to get up at 5.30 in the morning every day to catch a bus. How would you And you guys don't even have to face the horrendous traffic every day back and forth from school. I mean, sure. Or, you guys even also get to hang out with your friends every single day. I can't, I can't do that. Sure, I mean, living in Nisha sounds really great, but Think of the endless possibilities out there. I understand that Nisha is a really comfortable place to be. The whole community is tailored perfectly to accommodate people 
and families from all around the world. Sure, Nation has a diverse community, but does that mean that we does that mean you've achieved your goal as a global citizen here at ISB? We need to step outside our comfort zone as an issue attorney and embrace the culture around us. Poolside drinks, golf carts, high end building or high end houses are merely illusions blocking us from the fullest potential that we can be achieving by visiting Delta Mexico. A recent survey that I conducted showed that 80% of students who live in Nichita rarely visit downtown Bangkok. That's 80% of you missing out on endless possibilities out there in downtown Bangkok, filled with culture. We live in a fantastic country at the center of civilization. Living here, we do not realize that Bangkok is the most visited city in the world, more so than London or Paris. We need to stop taking this wonderful opportunity for granted and embrace the high culture. Let us escape the bubble of ignorance that we are imprisoned in and experience something fresh. But let me get back to the top that I introduced to you earlier. This top, trapped in this bubble, cannot achieve its purpose, spin freely. All we have to do is step outside the bubble and spin the top. Thank you. To, as I told you earlier, the purpose of the TED Talk is to convince people living in Nishida to visit downtown so that they can be, they can take advantage of this wonderful country. Um, at the beginning of the story, I introduced the idea of a talk. Now, this allowed me to establish a connection between me and all of you, as I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with the talk. And this also, by making a connection, it's it gives me the ethos that I need, a partial, partial ethos. And when I say that talk is you and point you, point at you directly, it catches your attention, so it draws you into my attention. Next, I uh, explain. Well, I tell like a story about how I lived in a community in Herndon, Virginia, which sounded pretty similar to uh, Michigan. This established my ethos because by telling you that I live in this neighborhood, I'm telling you that I understand how people living in Michigan feel and that I have experienced it before. This makes it more common. Uh, this makes my argument more convincing of that. After that, I used imagery and parallelism to further captivate the audience. So when I explained how wonderful Bangkok was and compared it to Nichia, I Emphasize the beauty of Bangkok, and also gave a euphonic description of Nishida, which forces you guys to compare the two. Parallelism also causes the audience to establish an opinion, which further draws you guys in. Um, throughout, the story, uh, throughout the TED Talk, I used numerous rhetorical questions, which challenge uh, the audience, which is you. So one rhetorical question might be, does this mean you fulfill your role as a global citizen here at ISP? That gets you pondering and thinking, which draws you in more. Yes. So, towards, at the very end, I use the analogy of the top of the container and how it cannot escape. This brings the audience back to attention because they have to think all the way back to the front of the presentation where I showed you the top. And that makes an instant connection between the two, which Makes it more interesting. It's a good way to finish. I also use numerous logos in the speech for TED Talk. The first thing was a quote from ISB. It's the mission statement. Since ISB gave the mission statement, it's a really authoritative source, which is really reliable, so that kind of makes you guys trust me more. I also used uh, numerical values which are also convincing because by giving you a percentage of people who that's really niche that don't go downtown, that's 80%, that's a really big number. 
And the word really hits the point hard. I also say that Bangkok is the most important or most visited city in the whole world. And I compare it to London or Paris. Since London and Paris are really famous cities, I think that it emphasizes the point of how great the city of Bangkok is. I also use inclusive and unifying language throughout the speech. For example, I said, we need to stop, we need to step outside our comfort zone. Which is bringing us all together towards the end. And at the very end, I say, let us escape the bubble of ignorance, which also unifies everyone. As a whole, we need to step outside the bubble. Also, throughout the presentation, I used, I only used photos from downtown Bangkok, which were pretty beautiful. This provides visual stimulation, which strengthens my argument as. Although like, I might seem like I'm giving one or two sides of the argument by describing the initiative with the visual, I'm only showing one side, which draws you in to my side of the argument. Overall, I um, use, through these devices, I send the message that cultural immersion is an important aspect in reaching the true goal of ISB, which is global. Cultural, and cultural immersion is a true aspect of being a global citizen. Yeah, Bangkok. So yeah.